in the last part we created a function to ask questions from chat gpt now we will be moving one step further and we are going to create our streamlit ui where users can ask their question and chat gpt answer would be displayed if i show you a demo then this is how our ui is going to look like where we have a chat input box on the bottom and the user's question would be displayed like this and then chat gpt response would be displayed like this let's start by creating an app function for our home page and we can remove this part now on the home page i want to give it a title of langot and let's side by side run this application so we can see how it's looking uh, ask here button is already present oh, we don't want this right now and to run this app i'll just say if underscore underscore name equal underscore main then run this app always rerun and title is displayed and this is where we can ask the question as i mentioned we are going to use streamlit chat ma input method for getting the input from user so i will remove it with this one and this is how our chat input looks here users can just type something and send the question to display all the messages we will just do for message in messages then we have with st dot chat message so this method is used for displaying the message in streamlit and then we have to pass the role like whether it's going to be assistant or the user so let me quickly show you what i mean by that if i do this and then say st.markdown then message content now here chat gpt will know that what's the role of this chat message whether it's the question asked by user or it's the response given by our chatbot and this message role if you remember in the last video i told you to use this kind of syntax for adding your messages into this message list if we want to add a question then the role is user as user is going to ask question and if we have a response or chat gpt reply then it means the role is for assistant i will show you how it looks uh, let's just try to ask some question from chat gpt then it will be clear so if we have question then simply run this method and once this is run the question will also be appended to this message list and the response will also be appended so we can then print our message also that way it would be clear i save it and let me ask a question or we'll just say hello local variable ref message reference before assignment let me see uh, okay it's messages it's not message i will say hello question is displayed here and this uh, logo for user is displayed and this is for chat bot or assistant logo and this is the response given by chat gpt and this looks nice and if i show you the messages content then you will see that uh, first we appended the question so the question was hello and the role was user as i asked the question this is the response from chat gpt and role is assistant so for each message what we are doing each message means uh, this one is one message this whole dictionary so this is a question right now we are checking uh, the role of message so this message and role is the key 
it will return user for this one and assistant for this one so when uh, this method of chat message takes this parameter so if i pass user here then it knows that it's a question asked by user and it will display it in this format similarly if it's assistant then it will display like this so that's why we added uh, the role while adding the messages here so we have successfully created a bot chatbot in streamlit and if i keep asking something else then it will keep adding all those responses but uh, now you see the previous message is lost the hello message and its response is lost so for that we have to use session state because every time we are asking a new question our apps is getting refreshed and the previous state get lost so we will use session state to fix that and instead of just directly using session state uh, i would like to create a new file where i will handle all this initialization of session state and our firebase application etc so it's a bit clean and i will name the file as main.py here do import stream it as st and then i'm going to create a class named global state and this will contain all of my session state uh, first i will initialize it and so we will have email because our app is going to have a login functionality then we have keep the session state for our messages so i will create a list for that and then we have self dot select box that we are going to see in a moment and to initialize this class i will just say if global state not in st dot session state then st dot session state dot global state then we are going to call global state so this way uh, by creating this global state class we can effectively manage our session state variables now we can use this global state class for getting their session state values i will do something like that where we are accessing our global state dot messages and this is similar to uh, st dot session state dot messages so if you don't want to get involved in this global state or this class for session state you can directly use this one also but there are like some benefits of using this structure it's well like optimized way to use session state that's why i showed you but it's totally fine to use st node session state directly also and what we are doing here is we are checking the length of our messages and if it's zero that means we haven't asked any question yet then we are going to set this global state dot messages equal to this message which is a list and where we already have one message written that says the role which is system and the content is going to be uh, that URL language learning companion. This is passed so that our chatbot knows that what kind of task it's going to do. And then uh, it's showing some errors. So first we have to import this global state from our main file. So from main import global state. And that's okay. Now wherever we have these messages, we have to add this global state dot message in front of it. And that's it. Now uh, while displaying the content, we are going to use this global state dot messages. And now all of our messages should be saved. And global state has no attribute messages. We are importing global state. Oh, I forgot to initialize this global state here. So we have to say global state value is going to be this session state value. Now save it and let's retry. 
and let me try something i'll just say hi and it's giving a response all of our question and the responses are being displayed here and we don't need to display this part so we can just start displaying uh, after the first message so this one will remove this system message from our application so our chatbot is working fine now we have to give user option to select a particular language and display a select box for getting the choice of user choice is equal to st dot select box and this is the title of select box and inside this round parenthesis we have our options so we, we can add multiple options like russian or whatever if you want to add now we have the selected language from user so we have to change our prompt accordingly for that i will say if choice meaning user have selected some choice and this index equal none is done so that by default no language is selected without this uh, english would be selected by default choice is present then our global state dot messages is going to look like this the role is going to be system and the content is going to be this one that you are a language com learning companion and you have to convert all the messages from user into uh, this choice which is the language name and then explain the translation in detail you can make changes to the prompt accordingly save this and i will choose an option here uh, let's go for russian and as soon as i say hello then it is responding this is the translation for hi in russian and if i keep entering some other values let's say i love to think games it's displaying the question and giving some response for that also but our previous messages get lost this is happening because uh, every time this choice is getting selected then our message is set to this message which is causing the previous messages to get lost and to fix that set this rules only when our global state dot select box is not equal to the choice we already have uh, this select box if you remember we created initialized it here so if this select box value is not equal to the choice the choice meaning that let's say i have uh, choose russian here and if i enter something then then some response is being generated and still the choice is russian and i enter something then i don't want to update the message so that this is what happening here if we have some choice and this choice is not equal to this uh, already selected choice then only we are going to update our message and if that's not the case then our global state dot select box is going to have this value of this choice which is the new choice let's see another question and yeah now this part is not getting executed because this choice was same as the previous one with this we have created a chatbot a specific chatbot that's performing a specific task so you can build your own using streamlit and in the next parts we will keep adding multiple features we will also be covering uh, other pages that i mentioned account page and the donate page in next part thank you